Canva's newest features and updates are going to allow you to cut out all of your other subscriptions. You'll eventually be able to consolidate everything down to Canva. And with this new feature we're going to talk about today, there's no doubt that this update is anything less than magical. No pun intended. We're going to talk about Magic Edit. This is a game changer. And if you haven't tried Canva, I highly recommend you do, especially right now. There's a link in my description. And it's going to allow you to perform Photoshop type editing in your images. Check out this quick example. All right, we see these flowers down the bottom. They're giving Valentine's February. Can we change that to something with a bit more of a sunny disposition? Done. Phenomenal. Okay, do you see that? All he did was highlight something he wanted to remove and replace it with something else. He wanted to get rid of those flowers and like that, Canva did exactly what he wanted. We're gonna do the exact same thing and I'll show you how. Now this is Canva demonstrating this app. They're gonna highlight these birds they have in this photo. And with what's called magic erase, they instantly got rid of those birds and now all you see is that blue background. So we're gonna go over both. So now we're over here on Canva ourselves and I already have a picture we'll use. Let's go ahead and bring it into our YouTube thumbnail. This is a picture of me at the San Diego Zoo feeding a giraffe. So let's just say I wanna replace this giraffe with something else. Check this out. So I click on the photo, okay? I make sure it's highlighted with that purple box around it and then I hit edit image. And so on the left hand side, if you're new to this, it's gonna say a powerful new way to edit photos is here. Click to check it out. Okay, let's click, let's check it out. There will be three prompts. Now, I said Magic Edit is in the free plan, and it is. Magic Edit is in the free plan, however, Magic Eraser is on the pro plan. But regardless, I highly recommend you at least try the, the pro plan. Why? It's insanely great, and it's going to allow you to eliminate a lot of other apps that you're using instead. Okay, let's do it ourselves. And on the left-hand side, it says brush over the image. This highlights where the image will be edited. And now, on this selection where it says brush size, I can click and drag to make my brush larger or smaller. You see as I click and drag this over here near my giraffe, it's making the circle much bigger and smaller. Pick a size that might be good. Okay, I'm going to pick a size, I'm going to take it, and I'm just going to go over this giraffe. And, and you don't even have to get it 100% accurate, you can just get it close enough, and Canva's going to do it, okay? I let go. Now make sure you don't let go until you're done highlighting because if you let go too soon, it's gonna make you reset. I'm gonna go ahead on the left hand side now. I will go ahead and select continue. Now you're gonna describe what to generate. I wanna make believe that I was feeding something dangerous. So let's try this out instead. Let's see what happens if I select dinosaur. <laughs> okay, ch check this out. So it provided me with four images to choose from. But look at this, it went ahead and defaulted to the first selection. But look how crazy accurate this is. It replaced my giraffe with this green dinosaur with those sharp teeth. Isn't that crazy? I went from feeding a nice, non-threatening giraffe to a vicious dinosaur, just like that. And I have four selections over here, and if you aren't happy with your selection, you could always generate new results. Or you could just go back and describe something else. I'm gonna hit done, and once you're done, you could save it. Okay, let's try one more thing. Now I'm back to my giraffe photo. What if I wanted to get rid of this giraffe? Hit edit photo and then hit magic eraser. I'm gonna change my brush size just like I did with magic edit. And now I'm going to just gently go over this giraffe. You don't have to get it too perfect, but that's good enough. I let go of my mouse and it starts to generate. And look at that. I highlighted it and it removed the giraffe. Look how clean this looks. It's fantastic. It blended in the sky, the trees, the dirt, and the grass perfectly. I mean, that's as close as it gets to a perfect removal. Okay, so now let's try one more photo. So here I am at a golf event, and I'm serving an adult beverage to somebody. But let's just say I want to replace the beverage I'm serving in this photo with something more family-friendly. So we're going to do the same thing here. Click on this photo, top left-hand corner, hit Edit Photo, and then let's do the same thing. Let's select magic edit. I'll bring my brush size down smaller to make sure I can kind of get rid of this bottle here. Okay, pretty good job. On the left hand side, go with continue. Let's see what happens if I say apple juice. <laughs> Not bad. So there's what apple juice might look like. Okay, let's try something else. Let's go back. 
Magic edit. Let me do the same thing again. Highlight this bottle here. And now I'll say a gallon of water. <laughs> there we go. There's a gallon of water. And if I don't like that one, I could choose one of the other ones. See which one looks better. And I'll go with this option here. Once I'm done, I select done. And now, instead of serving that adult beverage, I'm now serving somebody a refreshing glass of water. This has the potential to be a huge game changer. And it does a pretty amazing job, a pretty accurate job getting it right the first time. I have a link in my description. If you haven't tried Canva, I highly recommend you do, especially for these new tools. But what do you guys think? Do you think this is going to help level up your productivity? Again, Thank you so much for watching and please hit that subscribe button because I'll be doing a lot more videos like this and you'll be the first to know when they come out. But until then, we'll see you next time.